This is the electric heating continuous frying machine. When you receive this machine, you need to put it at the proper place and uh, make sure it connects with a conveyor. And uh, then you need to put this control cabinet beside the machine. And you need to put the oil tank on the other side. And also you need to put the vacuum filter on the other side of the machine. Now I will show you how to connect the frying machine and the oil tank. We will prepare this stainless steel pipe for you. You need to use that pipe to connect this port to this port and this lower port to this lower port. And then you need to connect this vacuum filter to this frying machine by using this pipe from this port to this port and connect this port to this port. Like this. And also you need to connect with oil pipe here and here. And uh, you need to connect the chimney here. And next, you need to connect the cable with the power supply. Open the door of the control cabinet. And this is the main cable connection. And also, you need to connect zero line here. This is the control box of the vacuum filter. You need to put it on the wall. Also, you need to connect the power input here. Now I will show you how to operate this machine. First, you need to release emergency stop button. And then switch on the alarm. And press the startup button. You can see this touch screen is starting. You can select the language here. This is English. We can also customize Spanish, French, and other languages as, your, as per your requirement. This is the home page, and we can set up all the parameters here. And we can monitor the operation of the machine on this screen. And we touch this button to back to the home page. And also we can set up the temperature here. In this part, you can control all the functions, and the red button means close. For example, uh, if we start a conveyor, we press this button and uh, the conveyor starts operation. We, are, we can also adjust the, the operation speed here. This conveyor speed is increasing. Then we stop it. This is the bottom scrapping device. It can remove the oil residues of the inside. Press it on and, and we will see how it works. And also, the mesh belt and the frame can be lifted for inside cleaning. It's the same like the blanching machine. You, we can operate this function by pressing this button and decline. Please also remember there is a waste oil outlet in front of the machine. And you can also take out this screen for cleaning. Now let's go to the other side. First, we need to open this valve and this valve during the frying procedure. We need to open this valve. And open this valve. Because the oil is circulating in the frying machine and this oil pump is on while frying. When the daily frying work is finished, you need to pump out all the oil into the oil tank. First, close this valve. And then open this valve and this valve. Also, we need to stop the vacuum filter and close this valve and close this valve.
and then power on the pump. When the cleaning is finished, we need to pump the oil back. You need to close this valve, close this valve, open this valve, and open this valve, and open this valve, and then power on the pump, so the oil will be back to the fryer. Also, for the maintenance of the control cabinet, the motor, reducer, and the belt tension, it is the same with the blanching machine. For the maintenance of the oil filter, first open the cover. If you can't open it, open this pressure relief valve to release the pressure. Then remove this part and replace the oil filter paper with new one. Then close it. That's all for the frying machine.